How you doing today, folks? And today I am going to unbox some things that I bought while, you know, inebriated. Nothing too crazy. I think only one of them are for sure knives, but uh, either way, going to be interesting. We've been in kind of a slump lately. Can't talk, apparently. So I figure get back to old times sake and just have some copious amounts of alcohol and then unbox some things that it might be cool. Really not sure yet. Today's unboxing knife is the Best Tech Togata, or it's still Togata have that. I freaking love this damn knife. So first up, we got a big box. So let's open up said big box. Whoo, fucking sharp. Uh, I almost cut myself. That would have sucked. There we go. Stubborn little bastard, or big bastard in this case. All right, so in this box, we got paper. We have more paper and more paper and a card. Uh, a receipt from, I guess, the original buyer, even though I'm pretty sure I did not buy that knife. Okay, more paper, some random bubble wrap, <laughs> more paper, aha, we have a knife, and we have a box that has tape, uh, I lost it, I got it. So, got the uh, Benchmade Custom Crooked River, I guess. In this, we have a... Ooh, that's pretty. Okay. We have a... Oh, my God. Dropping everything. We have a Bark River Clip Point Impala Red Liner Bravo CPM 3V. So, CPM 3V is a fantastic steel. It is a beloved steel. And this is really thick. And, dude, like, really, really comfortable. Um, damn. Okay. I have three favorite fixed blades and this actually might beat them. So one second, we got this and we got this. This one is the tops knives, 20th anniversary Tex Creek. This, at least in my humble opinion, is a fantastic knife. Ergonomics are just absolute butter. And then we have what is honestly currently my favorite knife, uh, either fixed or folding. The Bark River Knives ends got a, this is a Dan Tope design. Big, beautiful, badass, comfortable, ergonomic, gorgeous, polished micarta handle with a polished brass bolster, a little bit of patina on it. Patina, can't say that word. Patina, patina, patina. And then. We have the Bravo clip point that, man, guys, I really think this might be my new favorite knife. Uh, wow, dude, this feels so good in hand. Big hunk of freaking 3V. You know, it's a fixed blade, so it's not everybody's cup of tea. It's definitely uh, not sheeple friendly, but damn, it looks good. It feels good. Ah! My daughter's in the background. She goes, what's dad doing? A weird noise. What dad doing? <laughs> Daddy's being a fucking creep, honey. So, big box down. Uh, now we have a smaller box, but not much smaller. Dude, where did I put the fucking Tagata? <laughs> Life just disappeared, apparently. Okay. But the... S90V Custom Crooked River is up to the task. And in this box, we have a, another package. Okay. And in that package, we have... I just cut myself. God damn it. 
The video must continue. Though now I can't do any edits. No more stop motions. No more jump cuts. So we have a custom here. I already forgot what custom this actually is, but it's a custom. And this is rare for my channel, man, because we have a Damasteel Blade Mokutai slash Zerkutai. I think it's Mokutai on the actual bolster, clip, backspacer. Overall, a really, really beautiful knife. Um, the ergonomics for my size of hand, I have to like kind of basically hold the flipper tab. It's not a finger drill to be clear. It's no, this is a flipper tab and the, the ergonomics aren't there for me whatsoever. Um, choking back on it. I have a pinky sticking off and a little bit of my actual index finger. So that's not there for me either. Uh, yeah, not a mit. Wow. Okay. Good action though. Uh, ergonomics are not my thing. I also love the sound this thing makes. <laughs> Listen to that. Oops. Just smacked my very expensive mic. Crazy sound. It almost sounds like something's grinding in there, but this is a pretty expensive custom knife. So I don't think anything's grinding. I think it just has crazy ass acoustics. So that's cool. Um, action's fantastic. Ergonomics, I think if you had like maybe like a, a size large hand, um, I think it actually feel really good to you. Um, for my size 2XL hands, the ergonomics are, how do I say this gently? Garbage. Um, but yeah, I think if you had smaller hands, it would be fine. Um, the clip is definitely a hot spot. I think that'll be an issue no matter what you do. So you know, that's not ideal at all, but otherwise it's not bad. Good action though. Very good action. Uh, on the screen, I'm going to throw up what this knife is called because I do not remember it whatsoever at all, but it's a damn pretty knife. It is a little, seems kind of almost rough around the edges. Normally when somebody gets like a bolster like this or it's a type of crazy full dress knife, They'll like really take the time to clean it up, right? To make sure it's all chamfered properly and everything else. And this, the titanium, is really, really dark. And there's kind of some unchamfered spots all around this. And given this is a damn steel blade, I'm not sure why they stonewashed it. Or at least that's how it looks anyways. Uh, this should definitely be a high polished blade because damn steel needs to be high polished to really show how beautiful it is. So not really understanding some of the design choices with the knife, but not bad. Definitely not my thing though. Not my thing at all. But again, that action. Whew. All right, moving on. I, I have lost the crooked river. What the fuck is wrong with me today? <laughs> oh my God. Uh, let's test out the big dog. <laughs> will this cut? I'm sure it will. Who? Yes, it does. Bark river has always a screaming, screaming edge. I love how they design the edge geometry on their knives. Fucking laser beam, dude. God damn. Yeah, I love that knife. So we have... <laughs> All right, so I went to Blade Show West and I purchased not one, but two Riot XOs. And then I went on to White Mountain Knives and I purchased another XO. And apparently I drunk bought another XO from also White Mountain Knives. Um, <laughs> the fuck, man? Uh, so I have a couple in now. I have one in Natural Micarta. One in OD green micarta, that is a drop point, and then one in a double edge. So I will say the presentation on these knives are actually really, really good. There's a lot in this box, and it fits it out pretty well. So this will be the actual XO itself, the knife. This should be the actual sheath, and right here will be the clip, as far as I'm aware. I could be wrong. But, uh, ah! I'm definitely wrong. Uh, this is the sheath. This is the clip. I think this is screws. Get screwed. So I like the XO. I can already tell you that. 
Um, it's one of those knives, though, that I like it because I like weird opening mechanism. This is basically just a manual action OTF. Uh, it's interesting. I think this knife can be very, very polarizing for me. I really do like it, but mostly because I'm a knife guy and I like weird shit. As far as just a knife, it feels, I got to be honest, kind of janky. Uh, it's just a little too light on the actual tolerances. So it feels very good in hand. Like the ergonomics are very solid. So that's cool. This is also one I already bought. God damn it. <laughs> I just noticed a drop point. Whatever. I got multiples now. Um, but like the ergonomics are really, really good. It does have a lot. And I mean a lot of blade play. Like even for an OTF, manual action or otherwise, this is a lot of blade play. You can hear the whole scale moving around. Um, it is very secure, though, to be clear. I'll do some torture testing on this knife pretty soon here. But I don't think it's going to collapse on me. But, yeah, it's an interesting knife. No pocket clip, only a Kydex sheath. And I think if there was a little bit more resistance on this actual piece right here, like, it'd feel better. Because even now, like, you can just hear it clicking, moving. Like, it almost feels unfinished. Is it unfinished? No. I mean, it's Riot. They do very good work. So I don't think that's the issue. I think it's just kind of the design, which, again, I really like the design. I like the concept of it. But this, I can't help but think this is like the first integration of a bigger thing because this is the first and only version of this knife. This is a failure. If this is a proof of concept, if this is somebody, hey, I'm going to make this one thing. Now let's improve upon it. I would love that. I like this knife a lot. Uh, again, I think it's be very polarizing, needs to be refined for sure, but it is pretty goddamn cool. Curious, this goes on your waist. I can do it the right way, like this. Very solid retention, it's not going anywhere. Uh, the thing you hear clicking is this little kind of loose screw right here, but it's not going anywhere. You can carry it up, down, side to side, however you want to carry it. It's interesting. Um, I like that there's new things out there, new innovations. But again, I hope they improve upon this design because it's very cool, but doesn't feel finished. All right, so last but not least is a bag. And it feels, I'm going to be honest, like a giant dildo in this bag. So this video might get really, really weird. I don't know what this is. Apparently, I bought it from Russia, so it could also get really, really weird. So... Uh, I'm sorry, not sorry, but let's check it out. All right, I've rediscovered the Crooked River. And I love how sharp this knife is. So in this bag, we have a potentially suspect tube. So let's cut this tube open and see what we have and how weird it might potentially get in here. Oh, whatever we have is wood. Very pretty wood. Uh, one second. I need two hands for this. Uh, come on. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> so, first look. This, this is, this is fucking beautiful. I don't know why I bought this. Uh, but I'm glad I did. So we have Odin the Allfather, which tapers down into the Volknot or the Rune of the Slain. This very, very interesting, detailed, very clearly hand-carved actual patterning. On the back, you got some more knots. Odin's hair, beard. Go down to this piece. Look at that texture, man. Like everything on this piece is textured beautifully. And that tapers down to this very refined looking, I guess, pommel. Well, this is basically a baseball bat. This is like a mini baseball bat. This could fuck someone's world up. But dude, it is so freaking beautiful. I bought this recently, which is the RMJ tactical tire thumper, basically. 
And this one's quite a bit bigger, but uh, man, like just in terms of the actual feel to it, the weight, the heft to it, the, the, the actual texturizing of it, this feels ridiculous. And again, all that crazy hand carving, this is an absolutely beautiful piece. This is beautiful too, to be very clear, man, but this is on a whole nother level. Man, I love saying this because these drunk buy videos, I never know how they're going to go. Like, I just get fucked up and buy random ass shit. But in this case, drunk me, shout out. <laughs> ah! Got two things I absolutely love. This, I don't know why I need a pagan carved baseball bat, but apparently I did. And I approve. This is going up on yield weapons wall which is slowly but sure turned into just a wall of just random crap. But I'm kind of down with it because I'm a pretty random fucking person. So as always, folks, I love you all. Please take care and bye bye Whoo, this thing is badass. Ha-da!